Is it true? Like we get, you know, we get the, the newspaper down here in Virginia. Sometimes we get to learn about what's going on in Buffalo. Did you guys donate thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars to Lamar, um, Lamar's yeah, charity? That is true. Yeah. The mafia did. Yes. You got the best fans ever. Like everybody should be a Buffalo fan and I don't want you to lose. So please, for the love of God, run the ball 30 times. Paul himself said they're averaging three yards per carry. Paul, what is four times three? <laughs> Well, yeah. That's Are you really going for it? Are you really going for it on every fourth down? <laughs> every fourth down. Okay. That'll work. Keep the ball. Hey, I got a foolproof they... plan. Let's just not punt. <laughs> Genius. My son does it in Madden and it works. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Sports is proud to partner with Mr. Rogers Homes. Sean Rogers is a proud Western New Yorker and is now your Arizona relocation specialist. You can see his reviews as a top 1% agent on Zillow, Homes, and Trulia.com. Go ahead and download his free Arizona relocation guide found in the description of this video. Subscribe to his YouTube channel and, as Sean would say, God bless America and go Bills. We brought up an interesting topic near the end of last show. If you don't, if you didn't see it, go back and watch yesterday's episode. I'm sure it'll be a great treat for you. Mike brought up an interesting point. He says, listen, you want to keep the score low and you want to keep the ball out of Mahomes' hands, which it, as, as a Bills fan and covering the Bills the entire year, because of the explosive offense that the Buffalo Bills have has had, a lot of teams have been trying to do that to Buffalo. So that you know, flipping it over on its side, Paul and Mike seem to be of the mindset that of, you know what, if you try to get into a shootout with Mahomes and, and that offense, it's not going to be favorable in, in the Bills' fashion. I, for one, will, will take the other side of this argument and try to go against these two fine gentlemen. I may not have many legs to stand on, but nonetheless, I want to hear, uh, I'll hear from Mike, and then I'll hear from Paul going on, why don't you want to get in a shootout with Mahomes, given the fact that Allen in this offense, along with Brian Dable, Stephon Diggs, everybody else included, has been so potent this year? Look, I'm not arguing with the fact that the, the the Bills the Bills had the most points in the AFC, correct? Would they score like five hundred? They, they scored eight less points than the Packers for the the league lead. Okay, so no no doubt, great offense, very very explosive. I mean, um, you do play the Jets twice though, so <laughs> did, did, they, did, did they score two hundred points in that game? <laughs> yep. Wait, hey, that yeah. that Chad Henney start at the end of the season. Who knew that might matter? You know, yeah. like that. Well, you know what, Paul? I got a little secret for you, Chad Henney. He's an ex-Michigan quarterback, and you know they oh, all suck, God. right? All yeah, that's yeah. All of them suck. All of them terrible. Uh, Harbaugh, Brady. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was coming. You just don't have the firepower to match it. You know, if you're comparing, okay, can't, how many did Kansas City score? Kansas City had a score in the high 400s, right? I, I believe they did. Yeah. Okay, let's say they scored 480, 490, whatever. Buffalo scored 500. So you're looking at real close. You can't compare it to like that, though, because now you're playing each other. And if you play each other, Patrick Mahomes is, if not the best, probably the second best quarterback in the league. I'll give him the best, though. He, you know, he didn't play better than Rodgers this year, but he's amazing. So if he plays and that Kansas City offense is hitting on all cylinders, you ain't going to match him gun for gun. I'm hmm. telling you. And uh, look, I'll tell you one thing that I'm a big fan of Josh Allen. I was a big fan when he came out of college. But uh, you got to give him a few more years, man. He ain't Patty Mahomes yet. You know, Patty Mahomes has been to the – hey, he's been to the mountaintop. He's won. He knows what it takes to get there. He knows what it takes to win. Um, you know, uh, in, in that Colts game, for, a, for just this much, in that Colts game, when Allen took that 87-yard sack, weren't you a little bit like, oh, Jesus, <laughs> I wish he was a little bit more of a veteran. Didn't you say that to yourself? Seriously. I'm looking at your faces now. <laughs> Don't tell me you didn't, because you both did. I know you did. <laughs> right? Mahomes isn't going to do that. Just That's kind of what I'm thinking about in a shootout. Like, okay, touchdown, 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 touchdown. Now Allen's got the ball. He's got a chance to go ahead. Ooh. Does he get nervous? Does, mm. does he take an 80-yard sack again? What happens? I don't know. But I've never seen Patrick Mahomes do that. That's what I'm saying. I, I am inclined to agree with Mike that the – it, the thought of getting into a shootout terrifies me a little bit because Buffalo has become one dimensional. 
by their just incredible aversion to running the football, right? <laughs> like it's just the last month has just been, we're just not going to run it. And you just become one dimensional that way. Uh, you know, Kansas city gives you the threat of running it. You know, they can run the football effectively when they need to uh, Buffalo really struggles to do that. Let me, yeah. I'm now understand. I'm going to give you a stat for Devin Singletary. It is a little skewed. Remember, because Devin Singletary has really been on a, almost a, an exact 50% snap split with Zach Moss, as far as total touches go. So um, the stats going to be a little skewed, but hear me out here in the three games that they have lost. Devin Singletary has run for combined in all three games, 25 attempts for 72 yards in the three games that they've lost. Let's say Zach Moss is out of the picture, right? Devin Singletary takes a hundred percent of those snaps. And let's just say Zach Moss was taking 50% of the touches, right? That's still 50 attempts for what? 144 yards, right? That's awful. <laughs> like that's, yes. that's less than three yards of carry. That's terrible. But in games that you lose, that's the deal, right? They, they completely yeah. abandon the run game. And that's why when we start talking about taking the air out of the football, this team hasn't proven they can run the football. They haven't. In games that they've lost, there's been absolutely zero interest in running the football. And as we've seen the games progress, that's what we're seeing is them throwing more and more and more and more. Uh, I don't really know if they're capable of running the football. Do I want to see a shootout with Kansas City? No, but I don't know if there's a much, be much better option, to be honest with you, because Buffalo hasn't really been able to run the football. Um, you know, Devin Singletary stats alone just tell you that in games that they lose, they they're they're just not effective at running the football. I, I think you'd have to kick a deeper dive into that, though, Paul, because if, if you know, if you're looking at um, just Devin Singletary stats in games that they've lost, you're telling me he runs the ball eight times a game. Mm -hmm. That ain't going to get it done anyway. Right. You have to be committed to the run. And I don't know if they were committed in any of those games. Okay. Yeah, he was averaging I, I, Singletary was averaging about 10 touches or 10 rushes in the uh, a game in the games that they won. You know, so I, um, yeah, Moss, I'll pull up Moss's stats uh, right now. Just give me one second. Well, OK, me... so in games that uh, in games that they won, Moss was averaging nine touches a game in games that they lost. Moss was averaging six touches a game because one game, one loss he didn't play in. So he was he was he only played in two of the two of the three losses. Uh, so he's only averaging six touches, um, six six rushes. Excuse me, six rushes a game uh, in the games that they lost, as opposed to nine in games that they won. So if I'm doing my math correctly, you're looking at 17, 18 times a game. Your two running backs running the ball and wins, correct? Uh, nineteen times, yeah, nineteen, nineteen, uh, 19 almost twenty times in games that they won. Okay, right? and then you're looking at Allen throws the ball. He runs the ball a couple times too, right? Mm -hmm. In the wins, he's going to run the ball a few times. Run the ball 25 to 30 times this week, you win the game. Oh, tell me that right now. Ooh. Mar, what's your take on that? Ooh. Because well, we've, I, we've I, seen, we've it. seen Allen like pulled away uh, from being a runner. Oh, yeah. Right. Like oh, Allen yeah. has really not run the football very much in the last six weeks. So what's, what's your take on on that. I would say that in a conventional game and even Mike brought it up, you know, he loves defenses, defenses win championships and that's 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 been for years in the NFL. But you start to look at what this new quote unquote new NFL is and you start to see all these points that teams are starting to put up and what's going what's happening to try to counter both Mike and Paul's point. Mike saying, "Listen, you, you, you know, Buffalo Bills scored the second most points in the league, but they, you know they're not playing each other. Well, ha they happen to have played each other in, in one game this year in Week Six. And Paul, to your point, as far as the run game goes, we've seen the evolution of this EP system and this offense to supplement Cole Beasley mm -hmm. and Stephon Diggs for that running game. You know what? If you go back to the West Coast offense, what they used to do all the time was Short they would just passes. pepper those passes to the backs to supplement what that running game was going to mimic. So mm -hmm. a four-yard pass to Beasley now. To, on first down to get to second and six with supplementing, sing, handing it off to Singletary and having him run for four, mm -hmm. having, having Moss do it. That is what has been the replacement for the run game, and that's what he probably even has in it for, like, a quote-unquote run plays for the offense. I don't know. I'm not in the film room. I'm not I'm not sure what Dayball and Allen are doing. Mm -hmm. But as far as that respect, the second thing is this. We saw what the Buffalo Bills – Tried to do in this first matchup, what you know, with the explosive offense, Josh Allen still emerging as a quarterback, still emerging as a gunslinger back there. It was in week six that Josh Allen does not play on this team anymore. 
in week mm-hmm. six, he had one of his worst games, and they still mm-hmm. only lost by nine points. So if you right. look at that, bring it up here, the defensive philosophy for the Buffalo Bills was to let Kansas City run. And they were going to say, listen, is Andy Reid going to be patient enough to let Clyde Edwards Hilaire carry the load for this team? Mahomes threw 26 passes in that game. Uh, he completed 21 of them, but he wasn't his normal, as Mike would say, greatest quarterback in the NFL throwing for 350 and four touches. All right, the, the Bills were like going to concede the run on those uh, in that game. So you think the flip side of it, Kansas City wasn't doing that. Spagnola wasn't doing that. They, they came right after Allen. And teams since then have been trying to come after Allen to no avail. And he's been putting up 30 points a game. So I think that in this matchup, if it happens to go to a shootout where you just got chewed up for seven yards of carry on the ground when last time you played this team, if you get into a shootout, they're not running the ball. They're not going to be running. They'll be throwing it. Do you have the pieces in your secondary? As Mike said, they have they have cheetahs all over the place. You got Watkins. You got Pringle. You got Hardman. You got uh, Kelsey. You got all these weapons that Kansas City has at their disposal with Pat Mahomes pulling the trigger. But you have you have much more. You got Wallace back. You, you're going to have um, you're going to have Milano back. You have all these other pieces on your defense that are going to be back. Teron Johnson is playing at an awesome level right now. So do they have the pieces to go and have a shootout? I don't know. I I I, I think that they could still go blow for blow at Kansas City if it happened to be a shootout. The only like solace I can take right now is just the stat that you know I looked at that we talked about on the live stream uh, talking about the Kansas city preview and, and the Baltimore review um, was that th- the chiefs have won eight games by seven points or less, which, you know, when you look at their record and you think of this, this chiefs team, you kind of, you know, you have some reputation that allows people to think that this is, you know, a massively high powered offense. And it very much is, but I was surprised to see that they won so many games by so close a margin. Right. Like that surprised me that they won. uh, They won more than half their games by less than seven points. Right. We talk about high powered offenses. That's just not that's just not what comes to mind. How many points did the defense give up, though, Paul? Well, I don't know. Well, I mean, you're you're the stat guy. That's what I'm saying. You you have to look. And that's kind of Andy Reid's philosophy. And that's kind of what what the Kansas City Chiefs philosophy has been for the last three years. In fact, I got to tell you. Was it two years ago, Mar, when that, that guy lined up off sides and Brady got to go back yes. to the – Yep. D right? Ford. D Ford. Yep. So, Patty Ball game probably should have been to the you know last couple Super Bowls. Yeah. But uh, I'm just saying, look, they got the best offense in town. They know they got the best show in town. Come get them. Better than Green Bay? I wouldn't play into their hands. I would say, you know what? <laughs> Guess how we beat you? We keep the ball away from you. So, I don't want to score in seven seconds. I don't want to score in a minute and a half. I want to score a touchdown in nine minutes. That's what I want to do. Okay. I want to take nine minutes to go down the field. I would love to do that. I just, and I think the Buffalo Bills offense could do that. I mean, you know, the death of a a thousand paper cuts, they could, they could drive the ball down the field on Kansas city in that way. And I think a lot of teams have had that philosophy. So it seems that the chiefs are ready for that. You know, talking about how many games are played close. They're not ready for it. How many teams have tried to outscore the chiefs? They're deep. That's what they try to do. And you think teams, do, you, do you think teams try to yeah. get a track meet with them? The Raiders did it, and the Raiders got lucky. <laughs> they did. They did. They got lucky. Did you watch that game? I did. Oh. Dude, David Carr went in a game? Come on. <laughs> really? Is it Come David on. or Derek? What, I, I, don't, I, I, forget, I don't even like either one of them. Okay, listen. <laughs> I, I can't believe they both made the NFL, and I still can't believe that guy's a starting quarterback in the NFL. <laughs> Really, seriously, he's a Gruden. Rogan commercials. All right, the bottom line is, if you get into a shootout, I'm telling you right now, you're gonna lose. So my one fun stat, because I know Mike just made a joke about about fourth downs. So Patrick Mahomes has attempted six passes on fourth down this whole season, right? He's had zero rushing attempts, right? No quarterback sneaks. That's not a thing, right? No. So I think it's really, really fascinating 
the way that they handle short yardage situations because they just spread that ball out. And that's one thing that Buffalo doesn't do is this offense runs through Josh Allen. Does that offense run through Pat Mahomes? Sure. Uh, yeah, absolutely. It does. But Andy Reid's an offensive genius, right? He has been for years. He, he throws things at you and he's got such a deep book, you know, like it's, it's never the same game. And that's what makes that team so dangerous is it's just simply never the same game. And we've seen this Buffalo defense step up and uh, kind of mold to what they needed to do in order to win, uh, especially against Indy, uh, a super well-balanced team. They were, they were able to, you know, step up and do a great job against Baltimore. They were one dimensional. You just had to shut down the run and they were able to do that, but you're not going to be able to, you're not going to be able to lock out one part of this Kansas city offense. Um, they're not going to give you turnovers. They're just, you're not going to get them. No, they're, they're not going to give you those possessions. Um, you got to make the most out of every possession that you have. That's, that's it. And that's why, you know, taking the theory of running the football does kind of scare me a little bit because they've been, the bills have been so inconsistent at it all season. Yeah. It, it just feels to me like you're just going to be giving away possessions and uh, three and outs. Um, you know, they'll, they'll murder you in this game. You won't recover. You, you won't recover from, you know, having less than 50% third down conversion rate. You won't recover. You can don't I, can a I, chance. Can I jump on the end of that real quick? Because I, yeah. I want to point this out. Paul, you, you make great points, but I will tell you this. In the last two playoff games, you played the Colts and you played the Ravens. Both fantastic defenses. Those defenses were amazing this year. They were amazing at the stop on the run. They were amazing at the pass. The Colts gave me so many fantasy points this year. It's amazing. <laughs> they, it seems like they had a touchdown on defense every week, Okay. The Kansas City Chiefs aren't like that. So maybe, maybe it, it plays into your hands. Kansas City's defense sucks, okay? I'm just going to call it right there. <laughs> they stink, okay? They got the best offense in the league. Their defense isn't the best, okay? They just paid, paid Patty Mahomes, what, a half a trillion dollars. They backed up the money truck. <laughs> they did that for offense. They didn't do that for defense. So maybe, just maybe you can run the ball on these guys. Yeah. Just saying. I'd be saying that in the, in the film room. 